Okay, welcome back to Elevate Yourself Tarot. Not really, because this is part two, Water Signs. This is part two. Because yet again today, doing these fucking videos, all of a sudden my phone wants to just cut it off. So whatever. Can't stop, won't stop, bitch. Elevate Yourself Tarot, your girl D. Kennedy. So I'm going to continue this. What else did I want to say? I'm going to continue this where the, where the shit let, let off. And again, this is for the water sign Scorpio Cancer Pisces. So if you are a stalker watching and dealing with one. <laughs> but what I was saying is, is <coughs> putting the cards down to continue. Don't worry, I'm not sick and dying. I just smoke a lot of weed. Um, I was saying that the ten <clears throat> of cups, the happy home life um, cups is your sign. But also there's these bees up here by the roof. What are those bees? <clears throat> what the bees represent? <clears throat> bees represent um, wealth. They represent nurturing and growing new. And um, it's good luck. What else did I want to say? It represents like... Um, you know, like you blossoming. Like, you're, like you and your future further blossoming forward. Um, and then these two pentacle cards were here, the eight of the eight and the four um, pentacles is earth energy. So this was a money read. So your money or just your foundation, your stability, your home, etc. But the uh, four means that number itself means foundation and stability. Uh, again, with this, right, we had the, the temperance needing to uh, have patience and balance through it along with the devil energy and all the possible pregnancy um and then the eight of pentacles so the eight on its side ebb and flow things coming around to come back together in your favor because the judgment card here stands at me upright looking because i'm gonna go on to the chakra deck now i'm like afraid to continue i'm like oh great i'm gonna be cut off any minute and it's saying like whatever i deleted so much i don't know what else it wants me to do Delete more stuff, I guess. Oh my god. Anyway, so for the solution here, um, and oh yeah, before I move on, the moon, Cancer, looking at me, but also the moon just means things hidden and unseen, right? Uh, they're hidden in the shadows, but with the sunlight and the day, which is always um, relied to come, all things hidden with the moon energy will eventually be seen. <clears throat> with the judgment in your favor and the knight of pentacles again earth energy your money your wealth but the knight although a quick the quick moving energy because he's on the horse but it is actually the slowest moving energy in the deck because it is, it is the earth where you build foundations and food and plants and life grows so it takes time to do that with this red root chakra here um lam lam you are keeping your positions tightly within your hands. And you're like trying to look into the future. Understandable. Um, the way that you clear that root red, it is the color red chakra. It is your tailbone. It's the mantra LAM, L-A-M. Like a lamb, LAM, LAM. And you just clear it like that, LAM, while you're sitting there for your... While you're sitting there for your 10 or 15, 20 minute, 3 day, whatever, meditation. And you put your actual, and, your, and while you're visualizing, like I was just saying, you can also put your feet in the earth. You live in winter. Oh, well, you know what I thought of on my way home today? Just for you guys. I was like, yo. You ever, you ever see the movie uh, Fun with Dick and Jane? And the part where he like p patches together the fucking grass on his yard. But anyway, but you're going to do the opposite of that. Like cut out a patch of grass from your yard and bring it in the, in the house where it can be warm. And sit your motherfucking feet in it for the sunrise and sunset. That's all. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's crazy hair. <laughs> Um, and while you're doing that, you imagine, focus, visualize, use, utilize your experience to manifest. The number 40 at the top, so another number 4. 
again, you know, visualize your foundation and stability. While you're sitting in that meditation, like I said, clearing the root chakra, this is the third eye in the crown chakra, visualize exactly what it is that you want and exactly how you want it to go. Don't mind me. That's how you do that. That's how you clear that. That's why I get weird ass fucking pictures on my thing. Um, this is the solution. So yes, this is desires. This is the orange, the sacral chakra between your hip bones. It's attached to your genitals. But what this is saying is partake in the pleasures of life. Do that. Especially now when uh, the desires, I mean, take part in your desires. Fulfill them. Uh, I'm... <clears throat> Especially now when things are shut down and then it's like depressing. So, fuck it. Excuse my F. Excuse my French, darling. Alright, I think I'm going to stop there. Balance your emotions coming from the green heart chakra. That is the solution. Listen to your dreams. Especially from here on out. Even the daydreams, they will speak to you and provide you the answers with their messages, signs, symbols, right? Certain numbers, that, that number at the top there is 39, it's 9, 10, 11, 12, the number 12, which is number 3, the Holy Trinity, mind, body, and spirit. All right, and so what's going to be the outcome, hun, hun? And for the outcome, we use the lovely angel deck here. Um, because it has full messages. The outcome is the sun. Whatever it is that you're working on, wanting, wishing, and hoping for. Like I said, remember the moon came up and I said, but surely as the sun will rise, is as surely as those things in disguise will no longer matter in your eyes. And so the sun, also a sign of Leo Sagittarius, but that is the outcome. Whatever you're wishing and wanting and hoping and working on,